Okay, you guys, this is what I'm working with today. It's day two hair. I didn't sleep with a scarf on or a bonnet. So my hair is, I don't know, just, it's a little frizzier than I would like, especially on day two hair. Usually day two hair is popping. So I need to restyle my hair. So I figured I'd show you guys how I'm gonna restyle my hair and how I usually restyle my hair when my hair is on day two, three, and so forth. So let's go ahead and show you what I use. Um, I, of course, and I don't have it with me. Where the heck did I do? Okay, so I have my handy dandy spray bottle. Got this baby from Sally's, looks just like these and it is a mister so it missed your hair perfectly all you have to do is one pump just like this bam just like the box yes yeah <laughs> and then this side just kind of missed it give it a little damp so yeah, I sprayed my hair, it's a little damp now. I just wanna reactivate all the products that are in here without putting so much more stuff in my hair. After misting my hair all over, um, I'm gonna go in with the Mayel, and um, this is the Curl Cream, the Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream. So I'm gonna go in with this, and I'm just gonna get the spots that are like frizzy. For instance, like this one. Can you guys see that? Bam, look at that frizz. I don't mind a little frizz, but like on day two here, I should not be having this much frizz. I should uh, create my volume, but not that much frizz. So, I'm gonna take about this much right here and put that on that section there. it's not as frizzy but like this part needs a little bit more so I'm gonna add a little bit more right there just like a lot and I'm gonna do that to some other pieces that I feel like are too frizzy for my taste right now frizzy for my taste like on day two hair what should not be that much frizz going on but since I didn't want to sleep with a bonnet or a scarf I guess that's what I get and right here just gonna throw some there and sometimes like take a piece like this front piece Twist downward and press on that frizziness to kind of get rid of it, minimize it. And like, oh, like I said, a little bit of frizz is okay, depending on what type of look you want. You know what I mean? But I just don't want too much right now. I want my hair to last a few days. But if it's frizzy on day two already, that ain't that ain't gonna work gonna work all right so I feel like I pretty much got um, most of the little frizzy spots that were kind of irking me and so I'm gonna go in now with mixed chicks morning after re redefining foam looks like that okay. and I'm just gonna spray or I don't even know what this is called pump there you go I'm just gonna pump a generous amount <laughs> on my hands. Oops. And run it through. Oh, this feels so good because I'm like hot right now. I was dancing, trying to do some TikToks, and just got kind of sweaty and ugh. So now I'm trying to get all cute. Feel the heat. 
All right, so I'm pumping more. As you can see, I pumped like three times. My hair is very, very thick, so I need so much. Like, look at this. Look at all this hair. It's just crazy how much hair I have. Like, it's so thick, so thick. That's why I used to straighten it when I was younger because I just couldn't take it. Now that I'm older, I know what to do. Okay, so I feel like I got enough product in my hair. Now, I'm gonna take the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel, the olive oil brand, and I'm going to basically smooth down my baby hairs and my edges with this stuff. And I need my little handy dandy brush. Toothbrush that is. This is like an older toothbrush that I like to use. And just, I don't know why I did it like that because I never do it like that. I never dip my finger in and then put it on my baby hairs. I always dip the brush in the container like this. And then I put the gel in here. I don't know, I just kind of get a little creative with this. I don't feel like there's any perfect way. This is how I restyle my hair with products, but I have to wait a little while and let this dampness dry, and then I'll go ahead and show you the rest. All right, you guys, so now that my hair is somewhat dry, okay, <laughs> I'm going to um, flip my hair and use this lovely dandy pick here and just pick away at my hair till I feel like all the volume is how I want it to be. Just pick, pick, pick away. Okay, flip it back over. Need a little more. Now you can see already that it's getting nice and volumized. It got some body now, you know? And that's what I want. A little more body. Notice my curls. Now, I like to push down really good here in this front section because I want this part that I had down the middle to kind of go away. I want it to disappear, but you can see that it hasn't done so yet. So when I do this, it kind of helps a little bit. So I'm trying to get it to lay onto one side instead of it being directly parted down the middle. So I will do this to kind of help that. Another way to kind of minimize having to do this is to not part your hair down the middle when you are actually putting products in your hair on wash day. But I like to switch. I like to sometimes have the part down the middle and then sometimes I like to have it to the side. So for today, I want it to the side. I kind of want that messy look. Um, and I kind of like having my bangs covered side of my face. I don't know, it just looks cute. So, that is it, you guys. That is how I restyle my curly hair um, for like day two and so on. Um, it's very easy. Not many products are involved. The only like drag or bother um, is to basically wait for your hair to dry. But you can use a blow dryer if you need to. So, it's not like that big of a deal. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and um, yeah, just stay tuned for more videos coming your way from me. I love you all, and stay blessed.